Yesterday, the Onondaga County had recorded another death, increasing the toll to 103. The county had reported nine total deaths since Saturday and three since Sunday. A white male was reported dead on Monday. The man was in his 70s. A total of 67 people in the county are currently being hospitalized, up from 66 on Sunday. 16 of those hospitals are in an intensive care state. With the hospitalization rate steadily increasing over the last week, with 52 being on May 9th, County Executive Ryan McMahon concluding that our data shows we are doing better and should keep following basic social distancing rules so we can safely reopen. With the region's seven-day average of new tests per day is currently 1,352. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There will be an important meeting Thursday at 3 for the Senior Variety Show. The meeting code will be up on the classroom before the meeting. Please be sure to attend. If you want to get involved, reach out to Mr. McSweeney or Mr. Russo as soon to be beautiful for the majority of the week. Today we'll have a high of 69 and a low of 46. It'll be partly cloudy all day. Tomorrow we'll have a high of 76 with no rain or clouds the entire day. Thursday and Friday we'll also have highs in this upper 70s with no rain or clouds either. Saturday will peak up into the 80s and will be partly cloudy. And the weather will be the same on Sunday. I'm Amber with your weather. Last Sunday, NASCAR had their first race in 10 weeks. It was the Real Heroes race, and although the race was still going on, the drivers felt weird as there were no spectators allowed in the stadium. Kevin Harvick came in first with 54 points, followed by Alex Bowman with 52 points. From Isabel Sports.